Um, do you have a contact in Red Carpet? Information broker, whatever? Not really. Hmm. This is what got... Glenn and I were trying to think, too, and the only place we really came up with was the Shadow Academy, which is not helpful. Yeah. Unless if you know that it is helpful. Can't get there as far as I know. Um, yeah, it's not really one of my favorite places to go anyway, so I'd rather not. Um, Either it's gone or the portals are severed. Okay. Uh, I don't even know where to go to start looking into this kind of stuff. <laughs> well, Batman has a whole bunch of flunkies that all look the same. Yeah. And um He's the mayor now. He's the mayor. <laughs> he is, yeah. Uh, suspiciously, his uh, political opponents have been defeated. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'd have to either break into City Hall to get at him or his other high security building that he sleeps in during the day because he's a vampire. Because he's a vampire. <laughs> hmm. The look on Matt's face. What kind of fucked up shit's been going on while I've been paying <laughs> attention to my alcohol? Um, we could kidnap one of his guards or something to try to interrogate them, but I don't know. Um, hmm. That's not a bad idea. I suppose if we could pull off a snatching grab. Uh, they might just be thralls with no information to give anyway. And just lead lead army upon us, so we'd have to be ready for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wouldn't take them. <clears throat> we'd have to take them somewhere that we didn't really care if it. The mansion. Yeah. I do not care about that mansion yeah. anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you, I think the the network might have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, there's some secluded spots in the sewers that I know about. Hmm. Be able to hide a person there. Right. Yes. No, that's a good idea. So, try and kidnap one of his lackeys, take him to the sewers, interrogate him. If he doesn't know anything, we'll just leave him tied up for when Mildred next finds him. <laughs> it's a plan. Is, is that her name now? Mildred. It's always been Mildred. That's somebody else. That's not the woman without a name. Mildred. Yeah. No, the crazy one with the knife that like skinning people. It's always been Mildred? Yeah. Oh. oh, that's that's why she was hiding it. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Good now. Um, right. Lots of good spots in the sewers. Oh, yeah. Even the uh, suspiciously clean room in the sewers, which is close to Go Die Skate Park. Mm -hmm. Super good spot for torturing people or whatever shit you want to do. Unfortunately, none of the PCs have figured out how to torture somebody yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we inflict pain. They either like it or resist <laughs> because they know they're going to die soon anyway. Hmm. There's that.
Yeah. And if you're down to inflicting pain, your interrogation is shit. Hmm. Or I suppose we could just do a little surveillance first. I don't know. I haven't really done mm -hmm. much with the Batman stuff, so. Oh, surveillance is mm. never a bad idea. Mm. We did a little bit of that. Did you? Yeah. What did you throw it out? <laughs> Not much. Yeah. No, he's at City <laughs> Hall during the night. He can turn into multiple bats, and turn I want to capture one of them and see if it makes him shorter. To travel between <laughs> the buildings. Yeah. It would be interesting to kill one of his bats. I think it's, yeah, I'm guessing that's going to make him quite hard to take down as well, because I suppose if at any point he can just yeah. get seems out. Like, well, seems like he has a lot of vampire powers. That's mm. why my cunning plan was going to be perfect, if only I could get up to the roof. Well, what was that then? Yeah. He me. has bat signals all across the city, and he likes to shine them. <laughs> into the sky and at midnight he comes out of his office window and he shows up well I don't know if it's the window or not I don't remember and he shows up on the top of his office building to magnificently hold up his you know KP wings and yeah. I thought that if we were to tamper with the light bulb of the bat signal up on the roof and then we like put a whole bunch of mines underneath of it. He would go up there to be dramatic <laughs> and he'd be like, where's my dramatic lighting and go over to fix it. And then he would explode. <laughs> That's almost insane enough to work. <laughs> but I couldn't get up there. I kept getting shot down with being a, a you know, cat woman dressed up as a window washer. <laughs> and we lost the Zeppelin card. Completely forgot how to use Zeppelins or how to get them. Right. Okay. Did you did you try and just pose as maintenance people? To go no, what Glenn? I look glaringly at Glenn. Said that we shouldn't mess with it anyway because we don't want to get possessed. Oh. Okay. <laughs> seemed seemed like a bit All much right. at the time. Okay. But. Now that we know it's important and not just a vendetta against Batman. Yeah, we had a personal thing against Batman before he became yellow. I think this is pretty important. I think we need to nip this in the butt today. It's, it's, yes! It seems like I'm a fan of yours, Alex Kinley. I look no. glaringly at Glenn again. Nice. No, because <laughs> if what I believe is right is going on here, and AI is basically uh, unbalancing the way of things, um, it really could affect basically everything i don't know side note is if it destroys worlds there's some worlds i'm not a fan of <laughs> true but if it's the world we're so in at the time, not really a good idea i don't know i'm still waiting to wake up <laughs> right you could be waiting a very long time so it seems i look and see where the pentagram wandered to I'm glad that it's not itchy. That's true. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I think, and this is definitely, to me, be becoming a time-sensitive thing, so uh, it needs to it needs to happen, because otherwise he's just going to keep getting more and more powerful, and he's going to become harder and harder to deal with along the line. Now, problem is uh, we need to find out about what this possession, who's controlling who, because you, are, Glenn is a powerful s spellcaster. You are also. <laughs> so if the AI is is in charge of the host, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's not good. It's, it's true. It's true. I, I'm thinking that because I'm already aligned, unless I somehow get rid of white or yellow is power enough, powerful enough to burn out white, I don't think I will probably be affected by it. But That's a good gamble. Glenn, Glenn that's a different story. Mm. We, we could have Batman 2 on our mark here. <laughs> which, mm. could, which could in itself be fun. <laughs> You've got the trench coat. Flap, uh, flap. Uh, I mean, you're... 
AI doesn't control you. Is the yellow one special? It is different. Oh. It does seem to be a controlling type AI, so... Um, yeah. Cyber Psychosis, yay! Uh, yeah, I think you get a new card instead of that one. Uh, by the way, Matt, if you were to loosely total up, it doesn't need to be an exact total, all of the different uh, percentages you have in your spells, do you think you'd be over 200, over 500, or over 1,000? Um, Glenn, do you have anything would, that would, you want to ditch? It's definitely, it's definitely not 1,000. I think I would be, I would probably be close to 500, if not over. Okay. I've got a couple that are already about 60 or 70, so that there alone is, mm -hmm. you know, like 250 there, plus... All the small ones I've got at 30 or 40. Um, yeah, I'd probably say five, I, I would say 500. Yeah. I'd probably say around 500. Cool. Yeah. I should get uh, more information than last time now that I'm up to 1,000. You aren't getting shit. You're still in the uh, wow. black dove or white dove, depending on what you want to call it. <laughs> and sweet. there's so much construction going on that. Um, Once we get there. Oh, right. And make sure to tell the builders to change it back to the white dove. Okay. <laughs> they are doing stuff. Um, okay, let's go to let's go to Clems. Right, got two Clems. You go over there. Cool. Expecting him to have an arrow sticking out of his head or something fucking horrible and he's standing there with his big friendly mutton chops and shiny bald head and he goes hi what can i do you for shave please clint hot towel yes please where are you going back to uh the red carpet line these two as well yeah yep. great he sits you guys all down in the three of the four uh seats puts hot towels on you and <sighs> when he takes them off uh right let's see uh glenn there is a what when we get there i ask the other clem if he has a back door nope now for for uh <laughs> glenn, there is a servitor of a power here uh alice yeah. also gets that you know that somebody in this city you know it's somebody powerful in this city both of you kind of like it's, it, I wouldn't say you feel the need to kill him, but it's kind of like, you know how, how uh, well, like Matt and I, when we see somebody in a movie, we go, that guy has a really punchable face. Like, if you were standing there with that guy, you'd want to just fucking hit him in the face, and it would make life better. <laughs> you guys have that kind of feeling, like, wouldn't it be cool to go kill that fucking uh, uh, servitor thing? But Glenn's like, he's, uh, Matt goes, he's in that direction. And Glenn's like, he is exactly in that direction. I know about where he is. I can, I think we can fucking go there right now if we wanted to. That's the difference there. And if I don't think Sheila's got over oh. 200 points in Magic Ships. So. Good shit. I don't think I do. Okay. I get you. I get you. Mm. Give me analyze magic rolls. Mm. Myself as well, or do I have to be over 200? Mm. Um, no. Not yet, Sheila. If they say certain things, then you can try it. Not quite. Really? Bummer. Cool. Everything's fine. The birds are chirping. Cars are going by. Gangsters are wandering by. You notice as you emerge from Clems, I'm assuming you guys are eventually going to leave Clems, mm -hmm. that the city seems a good deal darker, and there's also uh, newspapers and stuff, and apparently several people on the council, independent of anything else, without any jostling from the mayor apparently, are currently uh, working on, you know, should we rename San Angeles to Gotham? <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's a resolution that seems to be getting a lot of traction with the uh, officials and stuff the locals are like well you know we're not sure on that and, but uh, apparently there's a lot of marketing stuff that could be done you know mm -hmm. having a Gotham and stuff 
but the city itself feels darker, grittier, more oppressive. Mm -hmm. Who knows why? Oh, really? I pick up the newspaper. Let's start getting away from Clums. I call Raj. <laughs> <laughs> 